Hi, my name is Justin Hicken and I represent Sundial. Sundial is a team of two full-time members. Myself, a recent graduate of BYU in entrepreneurship and a current student in the Masters of Business Creation program at the University of Utah. And Wesley Sturk, a recent graduate from BYU in their Masters program of Electrical Engineering. He's our Chief Technology Officer. We're tackling the problem of solar panel inefficiency. So the average solar panel on the residential house can only generate between 11 to 15% energy. That means that the other 85% of, sol of solar energy that is hitting those panels is being lost. And that's because these panels are most efficient when directly facing the sun. So whenever the panels are facing the sun directly on the roof, they're generating more energy. And when the sun moves, those panels don't follow. To combat this, we're developing the first mass market residential solar tracker. These solar trackers move a solar panel throughout the day to follow the sun. That means in the morning, it will lift up to the east, it will follow it to lay flat at midday, and then it will lift up to the west in the evening. And here's a, demonstra a quick demonstration of the product. So what this does is using linear actuators, it lifts up the panel to face the sun. And using automatic software, it moves, it moves the panel to face to follow the sun throughout the day. Now, this software is has specific safety measures incorporated. And these safety measures are auto stowing in case of bad weather, such as precipitation or high wind. And so that way these panels won't be, um, they won't be a danger to anyone. They won't be able to fly off because they will stow and lock um, using these locking hinge mechanisms, as you can see in this video. Now this, what this does, um, because the solar panel is facing the sun more throughout the day, is it reaches peak efficiency, um, generating again 30 to 40% more energy per panel throughout the day. <clears throat> now here's a panel, uh, here's a chart to demonstrate the increased efficiency of a panel using sundial mounts versus a static panel. And now this one, uh, as you can see with the blue line, it yeah, reaches peak efficiency only for a very short time of the day. And that's the benefit of a sundial, sundial panel or a sundial mount is that it reaches peak efficiency much faster and, keep, and keeps it much longer. <clears throat> now, a major benefit of sundial is that in large arrays, we can do a panel reduction method, actually saving the, the homeowners um, more money. Um, this is because as an array grows, it requires more panels, more racking, more wiring, more labor hours versus if you have three sundial, if you have three panels uh, with sundial mounts, they equal a third panel. Basically, a, an installation 75% the size um, can generate the same or more energy. And so when arrays get really large, you can see cost savings because you're eliminating more cost per panel in the racking, the wiring, the labor, rather than um, by adding an, an additional cost of a sundial mount. So our competition, our main competition are these ground-based solar trackers. And these are the only option you can have in the residential industry right now in terms of solar tracking. What these are is they're ground-based and they follow the sun east to west throughout the day. As you can see, it's one tracker for about 16 panels in these pictures. And so what they do is they require a specialized installer to come in and install them, and they will automatically track the sun throughout the day. Now, these are a major issue. As you see, it requires much, much ground space, something that many homeowners don't have. In addition, they are considered unattractive, and they require the approval of many HOAs and municipalities. They're banned in many HOAs and mun municipalities. One benefit of ours is ours is a low profile tracker. That means it sits on the roof and it sits flat. As you can see, our comp another one of our competitors are the static arrays. These static arrays, they are low profile and they sit flat on the roof. Ours will mimic that will be very similar to those when not actively tracking by only adding an inch or two on the rooftop. But when they track, they will lift up a little bit. What we're hoping to do is supplement or even replace static arrays in small roofs houses where a full size static array won't cover their energy needs just based on available roof space to build an installation and larger roofs as well. Larger roofs that require 90, 100 panels. We can eliminate 25% of those. We can eliminate 25 panels by putting sundial mounts on every single panel. For small arrays, for medium arrays, I, I mean, 
um, we can put sundial mounts maybe on 10% of these panels to generate just a little bit more energy um, at a good cost saving. Um, right now, our customers is we sell directly to installers. So these major installers, they hold 43% of the market. There's, th there's 18 large installers in the United States, and they hold 43% of the market share. We would sell directly to these installers. Um, from our manufacturer, we'd ship directly to these installers. Um, for small installers, we would sell to distributors. Small installers, there's over 6,000 small installers, and small as in they install only around 1,000 panels a year. We would reach out to them through these distributors, so the distributors would purchase the would purchase the sundial mounts from us, and they would resell them to those installers at a markup price. So our market segments. One, our main segment that we would attack are new installs. The market is, is aimed to grow at about 12.5% over the next five years, and we believe that we can get on many of those new, new installs. We also hope, and hope to open a new retrofit market. So about 10% of solar customers are unhappy with their energy generated um, by their solar arrays. And what we aim to do is we can come in and we can retrofit um, by taking their existing racking, their existing panels, and just put our mount on top of that racking on top and paired with those panels, generating an additional 30, 30 to 40% per panel. And maybe an entire array replacement is not necessary, but we can go in and retrofit and put three or four on to generate more energy. And an additional segment are small business and commercial. Um, commercial solar tracking in the commercial industry is fairly common, and that's because they have flat roofs. Um, in this example, you see the roof is a little bit tilted, and so solar trackers would not work here. Our panels or our mounts are designed for slanted roof specifically, and they can work on flat roofs. But as you can see, all these panels are slanted to the south. We could go ahead and put our mounts on with these panels still slanted to the south, but they would track east to west throughout the day. So that is a major benefit. If a commercial, if a commercial building has a slanted roof, they can't get a traditional commercial solar tracker when we can come in and we can install our solar trackers onto their panels. So our unit economics, we can manufacture a sundial mount for $83.50. We project to sell them at $249.99, making $166.49 per mount, giving us a 67% sales margin. So our market potential, um, as I mentioned earlier, our main source of income will be new installs. And so here's some sales projections. Our first, our first spreadsheet, as you can see up here on the top, our first table, our, our sales projections. So year one is a um, year one is a only selling for one quarter. The final quarter is what we've estimated this. Um, year two, we would have a full year of sales and we would gain additional customers. As you can see, at the end of year five, we hope to have about 1.5% of all the new installs in the country. And at the very bottom, we can see if we had 100% market saturation, and I and we've estimated that we can get about 2% of all new panels installed if we had 100% market saturation. Um, these are our potential revenue numbers and the amount of our panels installed with some dial mounts. And we're seeking $500,000 in funding for an 18-month runway to finish our product development, get our product certified, have it. Uh, begin installation with key partners in, pro in pilot arrays and hiring key staff. As you can see, here's a breakdown of our use of funding. Most of it would go towards salary. In those 18 months, we would also do product development and pilot installs. Pilot installs would require um, a few small production runs. We would also get it certified by the company Underwriters Laboratories. That is a requirement for selling in the residential solar industry. And we have a provisional patent, but this funding would help us achieve a utility patent. Business expenses includes rent, rent, insurance, legal fees, and travel and marketing would be a major, um, a major use of our funding because we would travel to solar conventions all around the country to both display and just to gain contacts. And that's us. Thank you so much. In addition, I'd like to go over some, uh, some appendix appendices. So this is a, um, supposed to be a video, but I forgot to add the video. 
This is a video of what our product design process has gone through. So this was an initial design that we had. So it's a stilted design. That means it sits about six inches off the, off the rooftop. And our customers, as mentioned earlier, are the installers, not really the homeowners. So we want to operate in a B2B to C industry where we would sell to installers and they would resell them to homeowners. And our first design was this, a stilted design. So we could move more panels per motor. Um, but in going to installers, they were okay with it. They didn't like that they would have to learn new installation methods. Um, they did like the prospect of entering the tracking market, but they didn't want to have to train all of their installers on new installation methods. But homeowners were the killers of this one. So homeowners did not like how tall it was. And they didn't like, they liked the additional power generation, but they didn't like the height of it. And so that's why we moved to a low profile design that incorporated feedback from both homeowner and installer. And finally, here's a breakdown of our unit economics. And so we use linear actuators to move these, <clears throat> to move the panels throughout the day. So they cost the most. But other than that, at wholesale price, we're able to get most of our pieces really um, well built. Um, most of our pieces purchased just off the shelf and then our custom parts built for a pretty low fee. Um, in addition, shipping, this is a shipping estimate from a potential manufacturer in Bangladesh. We are considering nearshoring to a manufacturer in Mexico, um, and we will continue pursuing which would be the best route for us, but it would make the shipping process easier by avoiding container shipping and the delays of four to six weeks um, and the length that takes. Yes, we are Sundial, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Thank you.